How's it going everyone? In this video we're going through all the new changes that was recently added on watchOS 26, the public beta, beta 4, as well as the developer beta, beta 7. So let's begin. So recently, last week, Apple Watches had the ability to finally receive the blood oxygen sensor ability again. Apple was able to work around this trademark issue that they had in the past because now like the Series 10 Apple Watch I have right here, if I tap on the blood oxygen sensor app to enable it, and I go ahead and take off my watch, it'll give us this new text on the display saying that the blood oxygen sensor app has changed and will now find a blood oxygen sensor result in the health app on your iPhone. And if you tap done, you can hit start, hit next, and then now the Apple Watch finally have the ability to actually run the blood oxygen sensor. And as soon as it's done, it'll tell you you need to open up the health app on your iPhone to see the results, which all you need to do is just simply launch the health app and tap on the little search bar on the bottom over here and look for the respiratory tab. And from here, you'll be able to find the last results right here of the blood oxygen sensor. And if you sleep with your Apple Watch for seven nights, it's also able to run this in the background as you're sleeping. Again, just the data and stuff like that will not be able to be displayed on your Apple Watch. You need to see all the data information right here on your iPhone. Which means if you like to see vitals and stuff, you can always just add it as a widget. Tap edit. Search up health. In the first party health app, this is where you can actually select the vitals. And add the widget. You'll be able to actually monitor the information right here on your page. Just, it requires four nights for me for that to actually work. But if you have an Apple Watch like this Apple Watch Ultra that I have right here, if I quickly put this on and we repeat the same test, run the blood oxygen sensor. This watch is grandfathered in where it could still show me my results right here off my wrist. And we'll still continue to send that information to my iPhone. So I can review it there too, but this watch the Ultra 2, as well as other Apple Watches that had the blood oxygen sensor before that trademark lawsuit, they still maintain that ability. No new change there whatsoever. But switching back to the Apple Watch Series 10, their new change can be located in Control Center because in the notification tab, everything is basically the same like the previous beta. The trans, the liquid glass is very translucent as you can see right here. You can see the wallpaper in the background, the watch face. But control center down here, I have noticed if we go down and tap edit and we tap on the plus on the top, I don't see any more bugs anymore. Like it used to be where some of these icons would just like never load. It'll be buggy. So it looks like Apple did resolve this issue with his latest update. This is no longer buggy like it used to be where some of the icons to these texts for these control center shortcuts will not load. Now it loads in perfectly fine. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are all the new changes that was added on the Apple Watch side of things. As there's not really much that was recently added or tweaked in terms of new features or bug fixes, because in less than a month, we should see the official release for watchOS 26 as well as iOS 26. Because the keynote said to be released sometime the second week of September. So if I quickly go to the calendar right here, Next week, we should be seeing Beta 8 get released with minor improvements, minor fixes, maybe one or two features, but nothing crazy. But it's until we go to the first week of September is when we should see the RC version of iOS 26 as well as the Apple Watch. And then sometime during the second week is when we have the, the exact date when Apple's keynote will begin showing us the next generation of Apple Watches as well as iPhones. And during that time is when we should see the exact release for iOS 26 as well as Apple Watch 26. So yeah, we literally are just under a month away from finally having the perfected version of iOS 26, which was quite nice. But other than that, there you guys have it. Now you are informed of everything new on these latest version of beta 7 as well as beta 4 if you're on the public beta. If you wish to watch more, maybe you'd like to see what's new on the car play side of things, I go through it in greater detail in this video over there. Thank you so much for watching.